A few uninvited guests have popped by the Gaddafi's home in Benghazi. The place, however, is a mess. Like almost every building associated with the Gaddafi regime, it was ransacked and torched by angry protesters. This is all that's left of a conference room in one of the palaces that Muammar Gaddafi and his son stayed in when they visited Benghazi. And if it were up to the people of this city, they'll never visit again. The sightseers don't seem to have much regard for their absent hosts. This man parodying one of Muammar Gaddafi's recent appearances on state television. The atmosphere may be cocky, but memories of the recent past are still vivid in a place most Benghazi residents feared to tread, says Abdullah Omar. This is like one of the places in Benghazi where like the most scariest places in Benghazi. And now it's a public uh, And now it's museum. just a, it's a museum for everybody. Everybody is like everybody left their houses just to come see what's going on, what is in here. Beyond the blackened walls and shattered windows, there isn't much left to look at. Smoke and flames still belch from some of the buildings in the compound, which also housed the military command for eastern Libya. The fire department isn't exactly rushing here to put out the flames in buildings that were symbols of a hated regime. Heavy equipment has been brought in to search for hidden tunnels and other underground bunkers or prisons. It seems a given here that most secrets lie just below the surface. Though after all the effort and attention, they've got nothing here. This was the heart of the Qaddafi regime in the east. Its gates were blasted open during the final battle. The weapons used to defend it, now a platform for chants against the former leader and more posing for the camera. But the joy is genuine, says Hiba Hilal. For, for this uh, feeling, I'm like, you know, like flying, like I am, like picnic in, in, in the bus, it was, it's, you can, no one, no Libyan, ordinary Libyan citizen can even come close to that door. So you can imagine that uh, feeling, you have it here inside. Also genuine, hatred for the man who sometimes called this place home. Ben Wiedemann, CNN, Benghazi, Libya.